Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn the dot first method. This is one of the important method which you must learn before appearing for the exam. So let's see what are the different agendas we are going to cover in this video. In this video, we are going to first get an introduction to dot first method in link. Next, we will apply the dot first method to an array. Next, we will apply that to a list and then finally, we will apply to data table. So what is dot first? Everything in detail we are going to learn in this video. Now, one more request as we need to learn everything in detail. So please do not skip the video. You will not really get what actually I want to pass through this video. So please do watch till the end. So why delay? Let's get started and understand what is the dot first method? The dot first method in link is used to retrieve the first element in a collection that satisfies the specified condition. So as the name suggests, dot first pulls the very first element from a collection. Now collection means what? Commonly the collections are list, array, any enumerable like data table and all that. Now, if you would like to pull the very first element, we will be using the dot first method. It is often used when you need a single result, very important point, and want to ensure that you get the first matching element. You only need a single result. And in that, if there are multiple such items, you just need the very first matching element. In such situation, dot first method should be used. Now, what is the syntax? Now, the syntax is pretty simple. You take the collection name. The collection could be list, could be array or a data table, dot first. And then if there are certain conditions, I'm going to show all this demo. This is the simple syntax that you can remember. Either the first one or the second one, depending on the collection type. Now, let's get started and understand all this in UiPath Studio. Now coming back to UiPath Studio, the very first thing that we will do, we will create a simple integer array. And what is the syntax to create an integer array? Pretty simple, new int 32 and then open and close parenthesis and the curly braces, you are writing few digits. So they are integer values, one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm assigning that to an int array variable and you can see the variable type is integer 32, array of int 32. After that, we are going to learn how do you really apply a dot first method on this integer array. Now for this, I've taken another assign activity and here I'm going to write the expression. Now to write the expression, the very first thing, your input. Here our input is int array A, which contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here I'll be applying dot first, pretty simple. And then I'm not going to pass any condition because in the array, the dot first means in the array, the very first element I want to find. So that's why I'm not putting any conditions here. But when it comes to a data table, you will see how you can write a condition. Now for array, what would be the output of this? If your array contains one, two, three, four, five, and you have written this syntax, what would be the output? Let me save it. Now remember when you're writing dot first, it only fetches single element. That means you would be having a variable which would be holding that output. I have created a variable called op, which is an int 32 type because we have an array of integers. Now if I try to print that in the message box, if I run it, Now, what is the output that I have got? The output I have got is one, the very first element it has pulled. So you have understood how to apply that in, in a array. Now let's see how you apply that to a list. Here again, how do you declare a list? Look at it. So this is how you declare a list. New list, like you write new in 32, here you write new list. And then within the parenthesis, you are writing of in 32. What type? Integer 32 from 
and you are writing 1 2 3 4 5 this is how i have declared a list variable called list a and given the values inside that 1 2 3 4 5 now the same way as we have applied dot first method the same way we are applying it here list a which is your input or the collection dot first now what would be output of this syntax the output would be it is going to pull the very first element which is one here in the list now if i run this you can see the output one has appeared getting it now let's go through the third scenario which is a data table now let me show you a data table so this is a data table which is also part of your practice test questions you will see this kind of questions which link query would pull this value or what would happen if you write this link query what would be the output any kind of questions can be framed now let's look at the data table the data table has got three different columns and these are the different values apple orange mango and this is the value quantity and all that now let's say here if you see all the items are present only one time if i'm asking you can you write a link query using which you can pull and show me the value of peer what is the quantity that peer has how many quantity of peer we have so the answer is one Let's say if I'm asking how many value of Kiwi we have. So it should say 80. Now here I can very well go ahead and apply a dot first. Because I just wanted to pick the one. And none of the elements have rep They are not repeating. They are the same. But again I just need the very first value. Now how do you write this? Let's see. Inside you have a studio. So the very first here. I am just using a Excel process scope. And then use Excel file. And inside that I'm using a read range to read the file and storing it in a variable called data table DT. Okay, so I'm minimizing this. This is pretty simple. Okay, so here the output that we are getting is DT. Now in the data table, how do you write the query we need to learn? So now in the assign activity, let me click here and let me write the query from the beginning. The very first thing you provide your input, which is a data table as innumerable. So what this does, this converts the data table into data rows, right? Data table is a collection of everything. Then it converts into rows. This is a data row. This is a data row. This is a data row. Now, once you have converted into data rows, next thing I will apply the method dot first. Now here, because we have to loop through entire list of things we will create a lambda function so how do you create a lambda function simply by writing function and then you put some element here let's say i'm saying x and then i'm writing what x dot x then i want to fetch the item whose name is peers and i want to fetch the value of it so here what i will do the column which contains the name is what item right item contains peer so here i am saying x dot item dot to string okay dot equals equals to what peers equals and here i am writing peer and remember when you are writing it is case sensitive so for example if i'm writing p in small exactly it should be in the same way you can see the P is not capital here. P is small. So P E A R the same way you have to write in your syntax, in your link query syntax P E A R. So here I'm saying X dot X space and then X item dot to string dot equals to peer. Now what would happen by that? Once you get this, I need quantity value. So that means you first find where is the peer, the very first element peer it found. And then you give me the side value, which is quantity. What is the value of it? So if I want to fetch this particular column, then you slightly modify this. So now it found where the peer is. Now the next thing is I want another column's value. For that, what you do in parenthesis, double quote, simply say the column name dot to string. I need it in string format. So I'm saying dot to string. Getting it? So pretty simple data table understand as innumerable you have converted that to a data row then you are saying dot first which is the method 
you are writing the lambda function to iterate through the data rows one by one. So the very first time it will pick the apple, the very first item, right? X dot item dot to string dot equals to. So apple is it equals to pear? So no. So that means it will go to the second row, second data row. Then it will check orange equals to pear? No. Third, fourth, like that it will go to the last one and it will find pear is equals to pear. So as per your syntax, it becomes X item dot to string dot equals to pear. The last iteration will become pear. So when this condition is true, so this is your condition. Remember I was talking about first with condition. So this is the condition that you are writing. So once you have written the condition, if the condition is meets, then the rest will get executed. So if this is true, if this becomes true, this condition, once this is true, the next thing that you're writing after that is going to execute. So what you're writing, okay, if it is true, then give me quantity dot to string. For that data row, you give me the quantity value. So now if I hit on save, the output would be a string output, right? So here you can see OP is a string output and I'm just printing it. Let us run it. Okay. Um, use Excel file apply. It's too busy. I think I, I kept it in edit mode. So let me hit on escape, save. Let me run it again. Okay. So what is the output you can see on my screen? The output is one. Now let me slightly modify my excel file what i will do let me go to the excel file and here let me copy this and i'm going to insert here insert copied cells okay so here i'll make the number as seven and here i'm going to give a value called five now if you're writing the same query same query no change what will be the output in this situation where you have peer two times so remember dot first mean it always picks the very first element in the collection as per the condition. So condition is peer, item should be peer. So because it meets here, the output should be five. So let me save this. Go to the studio and let us run this. Okay, the same one. So let us run this. Okay, now you can see the output has come. Fine. Getting it? Now your syntaxes are ready for you. Now all you have to do is simply check the syntaxes. So how you have written for the data table is very important one. Data table as enumerable dot first. Make a note of the syntax. So if this condition is true, then the rest of the line will execute. It is going to pull that data row quantity value. Getting it? For array, how do you apply it? We saw the very first one. It is pretty simple. Simply take the name of the array variable dot first. That Bring the very first element. Now, how do you apply on the list? The same thing, just list a dot first. These are the couple of learnings that we had in this video. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to come up with more such interesting concepts. Once you learn this, if a given a complex situation, you will be able to apply different logics and build your own query. So the very basic thing that is required is we have to learn everything one by one, step by step. So once you are confident, then we can build complex queries. Thank you guys for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and please do give it a like to this video in case you have not done it already. So let's meet in the next video.